So Donnie, I think it goes these ones right here first. I think the next ones are the short ones. And then these. Yeah, and then the longer ones at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Because I think the bottom ones only have one. Let's see. Then this goes into that. Oh, that goes into that. That goes into this. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Here. That one, we're missing the one. We're just gonna, here. Uh, yeah, that goes with this. Those go together. And just, it's just going to be messing around. Yep. 
beautiful. It's not the flattest piece of ground, but it's a flatter piece right here. Alright. Which side do you want to start on? We're missing that whole section, huh? Yeah, we're just missing, well, we're missing one piece. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you're missing one, you might as well miss two. Now we have to drape the tent over there. Yeah. I guess the clothing. Yeah. Uh, do we put those legs on? No. Nope. We do the tent now because we could reach it over. And then we put the then we just lift everything all at once. All yeah, this is very nice. The tent pretty muddy. It'll get no. Well maybe. Yeah. Well, me, I can cut you a wood pole for that one, Donnie. What's that? Well, you can do a wood pole if you want. We just have to do it now, if, we, if you think we need it. Mm -hmm. All right. We might be able to do it after, actually. Put a little bend on it. Where'd we throw that tent? Oh, I'm going this way. No, we're going back. Sure. Okay. What, Donnie? If we go right now to the peak, we could probably unroll it on the peak and keep it off the ground. You know? Or is it, wait, is that gonna work? Yeah, that'll work, right? Okay. Here, let me. I just don't know if we got the right angle. Here, I'll lift it up over. Um, let's switch. Let's switch. And we're gonna go right to the front there, okay? Yeah. Ready? Go. 
to see what we're working with. All right, I got a zipper here. That's a window. A window? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, what difference does it make? The door's there or over here? Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? No. I just got to figure out which, which way is lengthway. That's... This is the long way. What's this? This would be... Which is long way? Is that the key? I don't know. It's got a... It's got like a hole here. Like maybe a, a top corner. We might just have to open it. Let me, let me follow that peak and see if I see. Okay, if that is a peak, if that is a peak, then, then that needs to go right here, okay. if, if it is. Well, I'll try it. Am I getting it? like it's the inside. Oh, are we inside out? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why don't I take this? Tony, you're 100% right. Why don't I take this and run it to that side then? Here. No, no, let this go because I got to... I think I got it inside out. So is this it? Wait. This has got net on the inside of the window. So that's the inside. Right. Okay, so this is the outside. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Yeah, so flop this. Yeah. I'm going to flop this down. Why does that look so clean though? That almost looks like that's the inside. At any rate, we gotta go from the outside now in. So let me try to. This is definitely the bottom. Yeah. I'm just trying to stretch this one point. There we go. Huh. All right, here's a chimney hole. Yeah, so the chimney will be that way. Yeah. Door will be that, uh, this same size. All right. Yeah. Question is, are we inside out? I can't figure out if we're inside out or not. Donnie, see that silver on the chimney hole? Is that supposed to be on the inside or the outside? I'm pretty sure we got this inside out. So, so let's do this. We're doing good on our light boy. There we go. Yeah, I got it, Donnie. Here. So this skirts from down by my feet. We gotta pull that. Up and over. That's how we gotta do it. Alright. I got the door by me. Is that okay? Yeah. So I'm guessing this skirt goes up and over, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Looking good. I think. You have a little extra lengthwise on yours. Could I come to me about three feet? Yeah. Beautiful.
I believe I'm right where I'm supposed to be because I have a slit here on the skirt. And you got one right there. So now if we pull this down and over, you might just have it. That looks like the ridge there that's double stitching. Uh, it's either the ridge or it's that pole. That's the ridge? Beautiful. Beautiful. I think we're golden. I think if I go in there and just prop each leg up one at a time, we're good. I think. Unless you're seeing something different. I'm going to open this door and go right in. I'll start at that far one by the trailer to work my way. I think you gotta be near me. There we go. I think so. I think we do. Yeah. Close enough for right now. Oh, that's good to 
now. So I think I, it might be easier if I lift the, the tent and you do the, just slide those poles in. Which one you want to start on this one? Yeah, I'm gonna lift those sky high. We won't worry about the tent until after. Right. Just a minute. Put it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, pull your leg towards you if you can. Yeah. I can't lift it. All right, come, just come to this side for a sec. Tony, yeah. can you hold this down? If you hold this down. Got it? off a little but I'll rake this out before we put the tent down. Pretty close. All right, let me rake these rocks out of here. Uh, I was off a little bit but not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need to cross these up on any rocks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't look half bad. I and mean, we got a little water problem, but that's out of our control. Rock under this one. That one, yeah, for sure. One right there. Oh, just a little rock? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Wait, hold on. Let's go. Looks pretty good to me. What's it look like to you? Alright, yeah. Does this one need to come off a couple of inches? Yeah. yeah. Oh, did I screw you? Well, I guess it's not too bad. Okay, let's, uh, let's pull this over before it gets too much rain. I gotta come my way, it with the tent. And it could be I'm not square, I didn't realize that. You probably got to be square too, right? Are you overhanging just a hair on the back? Yeah. But I'm a hair short on the front. Yeah, just a minute. I don't know how we're going to pull this. What are you working on? Yeah, we're looking good. It's looking really good, Donnie. Now we just gotta do our tie downs, right? Yeah. Okay, I got a hammer. Metal stakes, you got it. All right, guys, we did it. I can't believe it, but we got all the lumber in here, unloaded, 
we got Dave back on the road, brought him out, and we set up the wall tent. I'm so pumped we set this up. This is gonna be home for the next month, pretty much. Um, I still have the, I could still sleep in my truck on that bed in there, but we're gonna be having a couple fellas coming up to help out. So now we have a really nice clean cook tent and a place for people to stay too. And Donnie's still got his tent set up. He just left it all week right through that hurricane. It's right there, <laughs> never changed, still dry. 1940s canvas, you cannot beat it. But here's our setup inside the wall tent. That cooler is awesome. That's Packback's cooler. It folds out, it's got a cutting board that comes off. It's got a table that folds out onto it. And it's got uh, three different compartments in there. Yeah, 80... you can clean a fish or cut yeah. meat on, the... on it. 88 quart, so I'm pretty stoked to have that. But we've got a couple chairs set up for now. We're gonna have cops set up in here for the fellows when they come up and uh this is going to be our cooking station i bought a floor a nice carpet for in here but we're going to give it another day to dry out it's supposed to stop raining tonight at some point and then this good gravel will drain through but it's just it's coming in as fast as we can <coughs> bail it out i drew i i uh dug some moats like i used to when i was about five years old to get this water diverted so anything coming down off this hill is going down that away Anything coming off my trailer and everything's going down that away. And guess where it all goes? Every bit of rain from behind us goes right to that old trapper's cabin because it's down in a hole. Donnie said the water is just flowing down there. The brook trout can't even sustain it. There's no brookies in there because they're getting washed down stream. So that's how hard she's blowing. But, but that's the setup right there. So we can sleep in there, sleep wherever we want. And that's gonna be like our work intent for Dinners, lunches, breakfast, and uh, everything else in between. And that's gonna be my sleeping tent over there. Nice. Beautiful. Until Pat comes, Pat's gonna join you. Pat's gonna be down there. All right. There's no way he's gonna be that close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the moose will be in. The moose, yeah. They for sure. They hear him snoring. Oh my God. But I think I snore a little bit too, so I can't say much. But yeah, so we're about as pumped as you could be when you're soaking wet. I got my rain gear on, but I don't know. I didn't have it zipped up all the way. I didn't have my hood on, so of course you're going to get wet. Um, but we cut a couple trees to help the unloading process to put underneath. And yeah, we're unloaded pretty good. We did a rough measurement to see where the, where the cabin's going to be and it fits, so we're happy. There's no standing water at all on this, or any of this gravel that we hauled in, so we're stoked about that too. So I'm gonna sit down, and rest a little while. It's been a long, long day. Yeah. Yeah. The, the seat on the uh, outhouse is warmed right up instantly, doesn't it? It's instant warmth. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. This tent is pretty nice. Yeah. Very nice. <coughs> ways, ways up, for sure, you know, with all the metal framing and... Yeah, canvas. you don't want to move it. But man, you can't beat canvas. No. The only thing you can't, <coughs> you can't touch it, or it'll start leaking through it. Gotcha. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Well, I'd call that a great day, Donnie, so far. Yeah, I'm surprised the rain is still it's raining. I've had enough rain for the entire year. <laughs> Boy, I think this storm was worse than the uh, hurricane for rain. Where we live, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, down east now. Yeah. Where we live. Yeah. See my breath, that's a good sign. Oh boy. 50 degrees.
Uh, Brandon said it was 375 feet just from the bottom of that turn off. Oh, okay. There's some serious elevation around here. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great day getting all that lumber up here all at once. Yeah, that was for sure. Good, good move. So far, there's really been nothing easy about this project. We struggled at the mill. We struggled getting the logs to the mill, on the mill. Oh. We struggled milling them. And then today, we struggled a little bit getting them up here, but we yeah. did it the right way. Yeah, but you know, all that struggling. Yeah. It's going to pay off at some point. There's not going to be any struggle. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all part of the game. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Yeah. But I think we're living the life right now. Look at this. Got the wall tent. Good food. Good friends. Yeah. Going to build one heck of a wilderness cabin that we could share with other people. Yeah. We're, sure. we're damp and soaking wet right now. But tomorrow's another day. It's going to be bright and sunny. <laughs> they said 70 to, or 69. Yeah. Tomorrow. Even, even up here? Yeah. Port, well, it said Portage. Oh, okay. It's the next three or four days it's supposed to be close to 70. Clear. Ah. Sunny. We'll be coming in the tent for shade, Donnie. Yeah. I mean, we'll be bitching about too hot. <laughs> Today we bitch about it's raining. Uh, we just can't be happy. No. Rain kept the dust off our lumber. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Made it a little heavier, probably. Is that spruce on the very bottom too or no? Yeah, well, I can't. Jeez, it looks like Oh, it, it is. Because remember we had two spruce logs. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty content just to sit here and watch that dinner cook. Yeah, we got about 15 more minutes, I think. Beautiful. Why is that? Why, Why do you think it did dried out like this? It good gravel. Kind of mushy. Good gravel. Yeah. Diverted the. So we're not getting any more coming in because it's all diverted around it. Yeah. I unhooked my trailer right there on that slope. Oh really? But I left it hooked up to see if it it roll. I got four inch blocks on each side. Yeah. It didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Well, let's think far enough ahead for dinner. What's going on for dinner? We got these uh, stuffed regatta shells. Holy cow. That uh, my son's wife, Mary, made. Thank you, Mary. And I got some corn boiling in here. Going in? Yeah. Yeah, Andy's corn. So, I guess that'll make a good supper. Sounds good, good to enough me. for tonight. Yeah. We got all sorts of food for, we don't know how long we're staying. Yeah, and what we don't use this time, we'll be back and just leave it up here. Yeah. Pretty happy with the setup. How about you? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, we'll get a rug put down. Yep. And, uh, no, that's great. Yeah. We may have to, may have to use some of this gravel a little bit 
to level up our pads. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, no problem. I can shovel some over. Yeah. Well, guys, we're pretty stoked. Uh, Donnie and I were just sitting down finally and relaxing. Long day for us. Um, we were just talking about the whole plan. He's got it planned out. If you didn't know, Donnie's been a builder for geez, most of his life, right, Donnie? Well, not most of it, but 38 years of it. I guess that's not most of it. No, that's <laughs> that not ain't even most half of it. of it. No, that didn't even half. No. No. So Donnie built for 38 years and He's a hell of a builder. He's thorough. Oh, I'm not that good. No, don't listen to him. But we just sat down, and I've learned a couple different ways to build, and, and obviously the way Donnie builds is my favorite. So that's how we're building tomorrow. Uh, it's a little bit different than building off of a concrete poured foundation. Obviously, that's the best way, but yeah. this is a wilderness cabin. We're not pouring a foundation up here in the wilderness. So okay. we got to get a little creative on what we're going to do for the foundation. We did the hard work. Most of the hard work already was just hauling in the the shale and the gravel and flattening it out and getting it ready. So that's kind of our base. And then we're going to go off of some blocks and maybe some cinder blocks, maybe some other concrete blocks, um, some of those big round pucks, and then maybe even some six by sixes. And then ultimately we're going off of six by six hemlock that Donnie's going to join together. And we're going to have three and a fourth row of those where we're going to go the the floor joists is above those so it's gonna be rugged i promise you that yeah it's gonna be wicked rugged, <laughs> rugged. So, and it may move you know the first oh, winter yeah. it may move and we may have to come up and jack it around a little bit because things aren't completely settled out yeah and uh but that's no big deal once you know it does that so yeah. but i i feel bad for you guys because i didn't have the camera rolling when we were going over the game plan for tomorrow and uh it's a real treat for me to listen to that and and mentally kind of prepare and plan okay we're going to do this first and then after we do this we put this together then we mark them out and then we put the joists on and we do the rim joists and mark that out so we have something to nail through and and uh it's a real pleasure for me to learn you know how to build how donnie builds and then kind of try to <clears throat> I'm, I'm more goal oriented so i like to set like a goal for tomorrow so like it'd be it'd be awesome if we can get everything square plumb level tomorrow and maybe even do a layout for the joists you know get all the beams and the foundation ready so we can at least do a layout if we're able to hang or, or um lay a floor joist down that would be beyond my my goals for tomorrow because we're not making this a sprint this thing is a marathon and uh you know combined we're well over 120 years old so so uh average age on this job's 60 something so we're not going to push it too hard this smells incredible mary's an incredible cook yeah she sure is she takes good care of me she makes a wicked chicken pot pie this is going to if this flops on the ground... Where are you putting it? Just so I know. Right on top of the stove. Oh, oh, I can't even move that. No. Nice work, Donnie. Well, maybe we can scoop it out of there. I think we can. If we're hungry enough, we can. That's Donnie's Coleman fold-out cook stove. It goes on top of a propane burner. And it really works super. Yep. You've cooked pizza on that? Yeah, yeah, I did pizza. Yeah. You, you've done cakes and stuff. Yeah, and cake. He's going to do some uh, loaves of bread on the ice this year. I was fortunate enough, Donnie gave me a spare one. He he inherited one this, this past winter and uh, brand new, never been used, and he gave it to me. So I'm stoked. I, I used it a little bit already. So I guess uh, to each his own, dig in and yep. hopefully... Uh, this, hopefully this is done. It was frozen, so... It's done enough. Looks done. It looks done. Beautiful. That's all you're going to eat? Yeah, this is plenty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got the butter over here. You can roll it. In the butter, for the corn anyway. Salt seems to work. Yeah. 
table. Isn't that thing awesome? Built built right into that cooler. Yeah. You could put the table on either side. Dude. You eat wicked fast. Mm. I got too much to do. <laughs> All you got to do is turn down your sleeping bag. Yeah. Do some reading. And then I got to sleep. I'm pretty excited about tomorrow. We're putting steel in the, in the wood tomorrow. Hopefully. Yep, screws. Yep. It's funny if I if I'm laying down and I start reading. Honest to God, I'm asleep in ten minutes. But if I sit in a chair and read, yeah. I'm all fine. But man, this puts me to sleep. Huh. It does to me unless I'm in something good. That fur fishing game series I'm reading that gets me going. I gotta, I gotta finish every chapter. Yeah, Morris was an incredible writer. I don't know how he could think up all this stuff. He wrote for what, 40 years? Yeah. Well guys, that is gonna do it for today. Hell of a travel day. Absolutely amazing. You know, we overcame a little bit of adversity with that. We're able to get it all done. I'm going to do some reading. I'm going to crawl back into the old Yukon Hotel and uh, call it a night. I got, I'm got i a little bit damp. I got to dry out a little bit, which is never easy when you're camping. But but I'll figure out a way to get her dried out and cleaned up a little bit. And uh, that's going to do it. I'm so pumped for tomorrow to be able to finally start using all this lumber that I've been milling for months and months and months and just really working my tail off trying to get it done. Um, and it's here. We got it up here. I'm amazed at that all at once. And tomorrow I get to start putting some steel to it and cut it and screw it and nail it down. So really excited for that. We're going to take it super slow, um, for the, for the, um, we're going to take it super slow on the process to get the floor in and the floor system to make sure that it's perfectly square, perfectly level, perfectly plumb. And then it just gets easier building off of that, you know, each step after that. So we'll, we always check our squares. We always check our levels and plums, you know, all the way up to the top. But that first, it seems like if you're off on that first one, it's, you're going to fight it the entire job. So we take a little bit more time on the first round and, uh, yeah, we're going to get it done. So I'm pretty pumped about that. I got, uh, I'm going to read some books tonight. And I actually got a couple letters from some subscribers that I'm going to read too. Uh, I won't say who, the, who who they are, but pretty excited to read them because uh, one showed up just soaking wet and I've been drying it for about two weeks. I'm going to open that tonight. And then the other one I was able to open and just briefly scan, but I wasn't able to read it yet. So pretty pumped to read those. <laughs> I'm going to read some, uh, some fur fishing game, Maurice Decker uh, stories about Charlie and Lou. And then that's going to be it for me. I don't know if I'll be able to get much sleep tonight. I didn't get any last night just because uh, I was up editing as late as I could and then up super early to get here. But still, I'm so excited to be here and so excited for tomorrow that I don't know if I'm going to sleep at all tonight. So that being said, really appreciate the support you guys give to the channel. Support for me, support for Donnie. I'm so excited to be building this project with Donnie and every day that I get with him I consider a blessing and, and I just soak in as much as I possibly can and learn as much as I possibly can too he's he's a great friend of mine he's a great mentor and he's just a great person to be around I consider myself super lucky that he gives me most of his time so really happy for that for you guys that are new to the channel we're building a wilderness cabin we're up here in the north main woods in the wilderness and no power, uh, pretty far from civilization, and we're going to build a, a dream. It's a dream come true for Donnie. 
dream come true for Stevie and dream come true for me. So really pumped to see this thing come to fruition and happen and just I'm pretty pumped. Thanks guys. See you on the next one.